Welcome back to another episode of the Unifying Podcast. I'm your host, Justin. I'm Joel. It's your boy, Day. And today we got a special guest. Um, he's a Bakersfield native, you know. He live out here in L.A. now. And let me tell you about this guy. This guy is a special artist, right? You feel me? He came from Bakersfield, California, worked his way up, grind his whole life. And now he, the person he is right now. We here at the TDE Studios. No one other than Zachary. <laughs> what up, y'all? Zachary. It's Zachary. Zachary. Yeah. Zach. The first question I want to ask you is, you know, what was, how was how was your you know your background coming up in uh Bakersfield, California, and then if you can like just give us a little background about that, you know? Yeah, coming up in Bakersfield, man. Uh, I've been talking about this a lot lately is like how thankful I am. I think as I get older too, that I grew up there. Yeah. And even my corner on the Southwest side of Bakersfield, man, that corner was so special to me. And, uh, I, cause I see like kids grow up out here, bro. I don't, I wouldn't want to, I don't think I, I could do it out here in LA. Mm-hmm. I feel like LA is just so busy and, and hectic. It's hard. To, it's easy to get influenced by so many things, especially at probably a young age. Too. Exactly. Yeah. Bakersfield just like had a good enough amount where you could see it over there, but you could yep. still like, I don't know, become your they own person. They just had their different without, areas. Yeah. yeah. Do your own thing. Yeah, just without, stay away from yeah. everything. Like, you know, you could get there if you need to, but yeah. it's like at a young age, when I be out here, I'm like, and see shit out in LA. It's like, damn, there's really like kids also growing up around here. Too. Yeah. It's like, I don't know. So, like, if the people that don't know like who you are, like who is Zachary? Like if you were to give like even like one word, like who is Zachary? Hmm. I would have to I would have to say love. I feel like I feel like it's so cliche, but it's something that I, I that has been like on my mind a lot lately is like even with my music and everything I've always wanted to put out since I was young is is love and I want that to be in in everything that I'm yes, about. Sir. So like stand on love. So speaking on love. I know you have a track with uh, Kendrick titled Love. Yes, sir. So how did how did that come about? And how, like, if mm-hmm. you can give us, like, a little brief story about, like, how that, you know, all worked out. Yeah. I think um, a lot of people, too, they first heard me on that record. But mm-hmm. I actually had the song What's Wrong with Isaiah and Kendrick before that one. Okay. So that was one way I got in the door because Kendrick had heard me on that already. Yeah. And I was like, yo, bring him to the studio. But even before that, my manager is Musa. He's Top Dog's son. Mm-hmm. And I'm the first artist that he signed and brought to his dad's oh, label. really? Yeah. That's <clears> like, me and Musa, I slept on his yeah. couch. Like, he put me in a house for free. So, mm-hmm. it was like, and he came up watching his dad build this label. And he came up with Kendrick and yeah. going on the road with Q. And, like, they're all friends. So, I had that in, in that way. Mm-hmm. But Musa was managing me and shit, like, two years before he even really started bringing me around. And yeah. before all that shit happened, like, how, how did that, like… What was your situation before all that? Like, were you still in Bakersfield trying to just write music, continue like what you're doing? No, when that happened, bro, I had um, I had moved to LA for the Musicians Institute. Okay. Yeah, I moved there for the institute, and um, I ended up failing. I went for like a vocal program, mm-hmm. ended up failing. But um, why why'd you fail though? Brother, there was just some classes I just couldn't do, bro. There was some technical things. Like, there's a reason I dropped out yeah. of like BC and shit too. I just, bro, if if I like. I don't know. I can't but force myself to learn do you look something. At, do you look back at that shit and be like, you know what? Look at me now type shit? <laughs> no, because I don't do that because I am thankful for some of my teachers yeah. and some of the things I learned there. Yeah. I just didn't need to learn all that. So what made you like start like, like how old were you when you like, you know, I fell in love with this music shit. Like you you wanted to do this as a career. Mm. I think it, it was in those, it was in those years of like between junior high and high school where mm-hmm. like I was playing for church and then I was also like, Shout out to the drama department at Ridgeview. Yeah. Like, the drama department, she let me, like, do a song for the school, and it went crazy. Mm-hmm. So, it was, like, a combination of me just, like, I think I first really fell in love with and found the purpose within in church. Yeah. But I think when I was on stage in front of people in high school, it was like, oh, shit, I could really, like, You could really do that do shit, yeah. you feel me? Like, mm-hmm. so then what made you, like, like, at the end of the day, like, you know, like I said, I feel like people seen you, even me, I'm not gonna lie, even me, like, Mm-hmm. When Love came out, I'm like, oh shit. Like, he's from Bakersfield and he did a song with Kendrick. And that song mm-hmm. was like a mm-hmm. badass song. Like, that mm-hmm. song went, I feel like, number one. Crazy. Shit was different, bro. I feel like me and Teddy Walton really like led a new sound with that song. No, like for real. And that's what Kendrick heard. And so, like, 
bring us to that moment. Like, what were you doing between, you know, the times you were coming up and then leading to yeah. that moment? To like LA, like, like the LA. Yeah. Right? yeah. Okay, so Musicians Institute failed it. Mm -hmm. um, but the reason I failed was I got really busy outside of like, um, let me turn my phone. I got busy outside of class, like actually is recording. Is that your girl calling you? No, no, no. This is the Discord. <laughs> this is the open Ness Julius verse right here. Damn. Um, there we go. Uh, send him a message. Say that shit's trash. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, bro. He's right here. You got to tell him. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, shit. Damn, where were we at? The question was like, I just want like to like, well, people also want to know like, like, how did, like I said, how did love come about? How did that whole situation happen? Mm -hmm. So I feel like, you know, that was your big, <clears throat> my opinion, you know, just coming from me, I feel like that was like what put you on the map. Yeah. You nah, know? For sure. 100%. So I just want to know how that came apart because like, what were you doing prior to that? Yeah. And then once that happened, how did life go about? Mm -hmm. So, um... When I first moved out here, I moved with a couple of homies from Bakersfield. One I went to high school, um, and then another dude that played drums in church with me, Roman, and then the homie Artie, rest in peace, Artie. And um, he introduced me to his cousin, which was Originus, who's from Bakersfield, mm -hmm. he's a producer too. Y'all heard Originus? Yeah, y'all know Originus. From, oh, from Baco? Yeah, yeah. And uh, he introduced me to him, and that's when Selection was just starting to like go crazy on SoundCloud. Oh. And so I, like, go crazy for yeah, real. Yeah, so like he brought me over to Jay Lewis's crib. So it was me, my homie Roman, the drummer, and then we linked up at um, Jay Lewis's crib to meet Originus and shit. And um, me and Jay Lewis, bro, the night I met that fool, we made a song together. It's called Heaven Sent, and he mm -hmm. put it out under Selection too, because mm -hmm. he was a part of Selection. And um, it went crazy, bro. Like. Joe K was playing it. It was like getting reposted. And I don't yeah. even have a SoundCloud made at that point. So Prior to that situation, how many albums or mixtapes did you have out by then? Mm -hmm. No, I didn't have anything out. Yeah, nothing out. No, I, I didn't even really rec have recorded. That's that, that, crazy. The vocals from a voice memo. That's that crazy. Yeah. And they chopped it up. Yeah, that's that's crazy. crazy. Yeah, Jay Lewis and Gnarly. That's crazy. Uh, and then um, once me and him clicked it off, like we just became homies, bro. So... We started working together and shit, and mm -hmm. he um, did some Bryson Tiller remixes early. So Bryson uh, had him start working on Trap Soul. Okay. So I would drive Jay Lewis to the studio because he didn't have a whip too. <clears throat> and I would take my saxophone with me to work on Trap Soul. They had rented yeah. in like this Hollywood Hills studio house. It was so sick, bro. I'd never seen nothing like that in my yeah. life, bro. You walk in this crib, you see the whole city, the fucking pool, like everything, bro. And a studio right by it. And you just bought your little saxophone. Yeah, and like, I brought Jay, so that was my end too. Cause yeah. like uh you, you like when you go into the studio and you enter someone else's space too, like as an artist, you don't want to come in as another artist too yeah. often. Like it's just you wanna kinda you wanna if you're coming to their space, you wanna contribute to, exactly. to what they're making. So yep. me bringing my saxophone was like an easier way for me to just get in rooms yeah. and chill and meet people and just exactly. hang out. Networking yeah. out, yeah. yeah. All the best music I've made is with people I've actually like really connected with. Yep. So that was my main goal. And bro, I remember Bryson would leave and he would leave the whole crib to me and Jay, bro, for like a week or something or two weeks. That's dope. Like it would just Damn. be me and that fool cooking up. And then this AR sent Isaiah Rashad through. <laughs> Keep smoking all these moon rocks. <laughs> <laughs> and um, he sent um, Isaiah Rashad through mm -hmm. this AR because uh, the studio was open. And yeah, bro, I met Isaiah and he came in with Musa too. And um, I was playing sax on records with him and just And you out. weren't signed at the time yet, right? Nah. Yeah, this nah, is I still... was going to was I still in the school? I was still in the school. Mm -hmm. I was still going to yeah, I was still going to musician institute and working two jobs. I was doing postmates and like an just, ice cream shop. Just handling your business, mm -hmm. basically. Yeah. And then um Damn, bro, I lose my chance. You was at you was at the house. Isaiah Rashad came through with Musa? Yeah, he came through with Musa. And I started playing sax and shit. And Musa took my number as a saxophone player. Like, right. saved it like Zakari sax. And yeah, I just kept in contact with Musa and he kept reaching out. And eventually I was like, yo, let me play some music because mm -hmm. me and Jay have been making some stuff already. So, and then um, we dropped another, some other SoundCloud stuff that had good views and plays yeah. on it. So I had stuff to play at that point. So once I had some songs to press play, I played on it. I was like, bro, you want to manage me? And he was like, yeah, bro, for sure. Like, yeah. <laughs> Dope as Musa That's started weird. managing you from there on. Mm hmm. Yeah, so, after after I failed, and my um, 
he put me in this this crib. It was like an incubator house, mm-hmm. like an artist house. Yeah. And uh, he partnered with the homie Craig. And they had a studio in the basement, bro. And that's that's all I needed. Y'all just you, kept you cooking. Just swap cooking. couches, like, anywhere. I was, me and Teddy Walton. That's where I met everybody. Mm-hmm. Teddy Walton. I met Saul. I met SZA for the first time there. I met Mac Miller there. Oh, like, shit. What year was like this? Like, this place was a hub, bro. What year was this? 2000. What year Mac This Miller was maybe died. 2016 or 15. So is that how yeah. um, you got on that track with um, with Isaiah Rashad and Kendrick? Uh, what's wrong? Oh yeah, the what's wrong one. So so since Musa had started managing me and shit, um, I remember I was on vacation with my family, like Lake Tahoe, and he texted me that song, and he's like, Isaiah wants a hook on this, like if you if you want to try it, cause the song slap. And bro, I, I didn't have a studio, so I was kind of stressed, but I was like, bro, I'm gonna write that shit, and as soon as I get back, like I'm gonna record yeah, yeah, yeah. it. Mm-hmm. I swear. So I really wrote that shit on paper. I remember it to this day. On it was paper? Like on a lake, bro. Some serene, that's, beautiful that's some shit. shit yeah. 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 I get so ahead of myself, bro. bro that I, you, yeah. Is that yeah. how you normally go about things, though? Like, you you, you write your music? It's always different, bro. I, it's, I, I, okay. I, I, I try to explore like and be open to any like type mm-hmm. of process, but it's always different. Sometimes I feel like you got to take it to pen sometimes. Yeah. It helps. That. Even if I'm not writing the full song, I like to have like some type of paper and pen to just jot the ideas. Exactly, exactly. It's, it's different. Than, exactly. I think it's important to write things down. Exactly. Yeah. So like, what um, what was your experience like and also your family's? Like after you like, I feel like people nowadays, like once you make it in LA, like you're big time, right? Mm-hmm. So like how does how did how does your family like feel and what's their reaction to like hearing your songs worldwide and like how what's the feeling you know bringing it to your household like you know what like my like your mom or something like yeah. my son made it like you know this mm-hmm. was no my parents are my biggest supporters bro Straight yeah up, that's man. fire yeah they love everything I'm doing and so proud of it they have all my plaques mm-hmm. and like they, she gets all of them from my mom yeah yeah. So how they feel at that moment where they like when that song? Well, I'm going back to love. Like when that song hit the radios and shit. Like how they feel about that and how do you feel about that? Bro, like, it was it's bro, it's it's I, it's even hard to explain. It was just unreal because it went from literally like some SoundCloud songs to a to a radio hit. I haven't even recorded a project or nothing. Like I made a few songs. Did, did that feel like you just like life changed overnight after that song? Like because that was like a big song and did you feel like? You like the next day you woke mm. up like damn I really got a song with Kendrick my life changed or something. The, the thing is, is like when when that shit came out and like even before it dropped, I was already around the camp for a minute. Mm. So like, I I kind of always knew it was coming. I, I kind of always like worked towards that, and like I feel like in the moment, you I I you don't even really take time to like stop and enjoy it. I just kept you just kept, kept working. Right yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I, see- I was like damn. I'm working with the greatest artists and this is the level they're on. Mm-hmm. I'm not there yet. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. But did yeah. the did the lifestyle change though? Have you like did you witness more like groupies and all, like all that other shit that come with it? Yeah, I guess so. I went through phases of, of like that and like but I I've never been too easily influenced or like, you know what I mean, by any of that. I feel like maybe there was some years even like my first year I would go out to like all these Hollywood Hills parties and shit like that. Yeah. And um uh, it's lit. It's fun. I've seen some shit for sure. <laughs> What, yeah. What are what are what are some of those stories? I remember at that what's same the, what's Hollywood the crazy Hills, story? I remember at the same that same Hollywood Hills house, bro. Uh-huh. Is the like we're cooking up, we're cooking up, and uh, these bitches they got bitches there. Uh-huh. They start drinking. They just take all their clothes off. At, and they just, like, just this, yeah in the pool, like just happy to the, be there. At the whole the clothes off. Yes, in the stew. Hmm. I need to be there. <laughs> what was that what? was the first, to, be, to be honest what? though, that was the first and only time I have seen what? that. Yeah. So, but what was that's not do? a normal thing I've seen. Hey. I don't even know what they were on. Like, what? Was like what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, what did you do at that point? <laughs> this is sick. Played my saxophone. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I would have been in there. Oh, I would have been in that bitch lying too, saying I manage everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I, I heard so many stories about like, like I said, I'm just a regular civilian, yeah. but I've heard so much shit about what like Hollywood actually is, and I've heard like plenty of stories about girls doing certain shit. Yeah, they got to sign certain paperwork and all that yeah. shit. Is that true? 
Bro, to be honest, bro, I really, it, I, I never seen that shit. Maybe, yeah. Like, NDAs, like, girls, like, yeah, girls, they be fucking with athletes, for sure. And, like, I've never shit. seen, like, some, like, if I seen a girl sign a paper, I don't, yeah. I don't It does happen, though, out yeah. here, for sure. Ain't yeah. putting nobody on the NDA. Uh-huh. Tell your story. Nah, nah. <laughs> yeah. Man. So, like, um, like on the left. Can we do a shot? Right? Oh, yeah, let's do we it. Got, no, it we, 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 finna, we, we finna never play. drink it? No, we didn't. We didn't drink I was, that. I was waiting for the good time. Oh, we never took a second shot, huh? Oh, we did Come it. Come on, bro. We did it. Hold up. We're going to take a cheers. shot. We're going to take a shot real quick. A cheers to love. Cheers to it cooling down. Oh, my let's God. I feel so much better, bro. Yes, Straight sir. up. Yes, get closer. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. He kicked it. A little bit, huh? Woo. Yeah, if I ever need to get closer, bro, just like, my bad. Oh, shit. <laughs> what? That's how that henny make you feel, though. I, I just start making random ass noises over here. What? Man, henny is actually so smooth and chill, though. It is. It, it is. I haven't drank henny some... in a minute. I've been drinking straight tequila. That's how you do some crazy we should, things, we, though. We, nah, we, <laughs> we were about tequila then. If that was the case, nah, nah, it's cool. This yeah. this is a henny podcast. It's, it's different good. vibes. Bet. Black teas and henny. Black oh God. Tea. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> That's the oh new God. title, bro. <laughs> Hey, so, off the henny, off the henny though, bro. I done beat some shit to your music. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, what song? You beat that, some shit? All of them. Uh, <laughs> all of them? I, especially love, but I wasn't in love. That was the only thing. I don't fuck it with hits her, a little though. different when you're just hitting some stranger and you're like, damn, so, I don't so know like, if I love her. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, damn, bro, Them flashbacks got me taking another <laughs> shot. <laughs> so, like, going back to love, um, were you already signed to TDE before that? Mm. Before you got on the track, or were you still like just? Yeah, yeah. So I, so, I, I like, was take, signed behind behind doors before. So that. Uh, take us through that like experience signing mm-hmm. to TDE. How was that? Yeah. So like, um, this is when um, everyone was working up at like Interscope Studios. They had the Snow Excuses, and they have it now too. But they remodeled and shit. But it was just like Q was in one room, Dot was in another room, <laughs> and then like someone else would be working in another room. Like, and that's where Musa would bring me through to meet Kendrick and all that, mm-hmm. and top and it, and it was like it's kind of like this, but they just took it over Interscope. It was like everybody at TD was, mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. And um, yeah, man. As soon as I, I was over there, they had this little production room that like wouldn't always be booked and shit. So they would start getting it for me, or like I would just use it and I taught myself how to record. Like Jay Lewis taught me Ableton too, so yeah. like I could go in a studio and like work as much as I want. Like that's you don't have, you stuff. don't need an engineer. You like. You have to make sure you can do it. Cause, Especially on artists, though, too. Like, yeah, because I, I have a crazy mic right here and crazy speakers. Uh, yeah, I, I might not be able to get an engineer, but mm-hmm. I figured all that stuff out. Even my first EP, I recorded myself, too. That's, That's hard. Yeah. <clears throat> a lot of it. James helped me, too. Once, Like, James Engineer, he's the one who helped me finish mm-hmm. it and put it all together. But a lot of the vocals... I recorded myself. How old were you when you, like, when you found your actual vocals, though? Like, you know, like, for example... This is some bullshit I'm about to say though. It's like for me, I be I be rapping or singing mm-hmm. here and there. You feel me? We all do. Yeah, we all we do. We trash though. But we yeah, like we y'all. trash. But like, like at a certain point, how do you find your actual voice and go with that? And you know what? That's gonna take me to the next level. Like, what was that point in your life where you know what? I found my voice. But like when you found your sound. Yeah. So like your sound? Yeah, I'm still finding my sound, bro. You I think I, so. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I feel like it's always changing too, but this next album is definitely the introduction, which is hard, bro. You play he play shit. he play this that shit is was, hard. Yeah. That's crazy, crazy. crazy. Oh, crazy. Oh, thank you, but man. you think you're done right here, or you like like what I mean is like everyone has a certain sound. I feel mm-hmm. like you have that certain sound to where yeah. no one can replicate that. You feel me? Do I? I yeah. think so. I, me personally, That's I think right. so. Yeah, That's right. I think no one can do what you do. Thank you, man. I appreciate you can't that. name no artist that can do that. Yeah, yeah, you can't. I do be running into problems too with my songwriting, where I'll do these writing camps or some things, mm-hmm. and I'll do some shit, and it's like, damn, no one could do this. No, and that's facts. No, 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 no. And that's facts. Who's like, who's like the biggest artist you wrote for? Um, I've written for a lot. There's not a lot comes out because you throw a lot of uh, wide nets like in the song. I've seen you uh, write you... for a bunch of people. I've written mm-hmm. for a bunch of people and not I, come out. I seen you written some shit for like Usher. You and Usher. Yeah, me and Usher, bro. Usher was one of the first bigger artists that I like. He was actually the first artist I ever even like wrote for or like opened or even thought about writing for mm-hmm. someone. Yeah, was with Usher. How was that experience? 
it was honestly a fucking trip, bro, because me and school <laughs> ended up getting along so well, bro. Yeah, like, that's we would crazy. literally just that's be fire. chilling. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like they would get mad at us since I, I remember one time me and this floor spending probably two hours, right? Because um, I'm showing him my voice memos of like these sounds and people talking and like different yeah. shit and how much I have. And he's showing me we both have thousands of shit and we're mm-hmm. just playing each other like rare voice memo sounds that we had. Damn. We're supposed to be in there, man. He's like, he and took me to a her concert. That fool was dope, bro. Your yeah. voice is Shout really unique, Usher. though, too. I a lot, like your voice is really unique. Mm-hmm. And like, do you have to like, for example, like you? I feel like you have a, like, uh, what they call it in the music industry, like a a low pitch or it's it's high pitch, right? Oh, the falsetto. Yeah. Ah! Yeah. Instead of ah! yeah, yeah. <laughs> so like, is it is it more of a, like a practice thing, or you like? Like, how did you come about that? Because I feel like that's what people know you about, like that high shit. Like, yeah, yeah. I I I, I always say this too because I, I learned I learned how to sing and write by learning other people's shit by covering. Like, I've been doing covers, covers. And shit in my room all through mm-hmm. high school, like YouTube and all that yeah. shit. And um, one of the first artists I really like was introduced to was uh, that I really love was Justin Azuka, mm-hmm. and I haven't featured on my last project. Okay, but um. Dylan Galansky. Have you guys heard of Dylan Galansky? I have not. Anybody? He went to Ridgeview. He was on American Idol. He got second place as a country singer. Damn. Me and that fool went to high school together, bro. I would crash at his crib. He was the first person I ever seen like record. We would like just do guitar. That's dope. But yeah, it came from covering Justin shit and like learning and imitating other people's falsettos Mm -hmm. and then go learn this other tone. And like, I don't know, bro. I feel like, I don't know. I love music so much and just... Just the different sounds and things you could do with it. It's yep. like it's crazy. My sound just keeps yeah. changing. And I feel like, like, like I told you before, yeah. like I, I get feel too like... bored if I get if I feel like I'm I'm like making something that it sounds like I've made it before. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of turned off by it. Honestly. But I yeah. feel like everybody has their sound to themselves. Like like everyone, if you look at for example, like Bino or Blast, they mm-hmm. all have their own sound. And I feel like that's what you too. You have your own sound. Mm-hmm. No one can replicate that because if they do. You could be like, yeah. nigga, that came from me, <laughs> you know? Mm-hmm. And so I feel like no one can replicate what you do because you're like, you're basically one of a kind type shit. And nobody got that voice but exactly. you. Mm-hmm. No one's going no one's gonna to even try to hit them high. <laughs> no one, no one what? is. No one is at all. Shout out to one of our sponsors, 706 Collective on 706 Oak Street. Go out and support. But we're going to get into this next game. It's called Plead the Fifth. So we're going to ask you some questions. If you don't want to take... So if you don't want to answer the question, we're going to take... Or you're going to take the shot. If you answer the questions, we got to take a shot. Yeah, let's get it. So the first question is... Answer all of them. First question is, what's your body count? Wait, what's the... Um, <laughs> what's the... Uh, so if you guys aren't... It's only me? So, we, okay. You, so how, if, how I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask you questions. And if you don't want to answer, you got to take a shot. But if you answer, we got to take oh, a okay, shot. Oh, okay. I got it, got it, got it. So, so answer first as question, many as possible. My body count... My body count's modest, like... 15 to 20 ish? No, you gotta. You, what's the number? It's 15 to 20 ish, bro. What's the number? It's like in that area. Like 15 to 20 ish? Yeah. Like the last year or something? Yeah. Or no, like... no, 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 no. No, it's in that area. So 15 to 20. For a long period, too, I was out here in a relationship, too. Oh, okay. he is faithful, huh? Faithful boys. Yeah, and then by the, I, got, I got to the phase where um, I went through it where you, you hook up with girls randomly and you're like, da, da, da. I got so tired of it really fast, bro. Yeah, be real. Well, I, I mean, feel about it. yeah. If it's, I don't know. It's like it's 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 just it's 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 fun and it's fire and it's like. But I'm also noticing, damn. Every time I hook up with a girl, I have to be faded as fuck. And yeah. then my nigga, that, you me basically. Yeah, it, it, bro. It, it's fun. It's fun and it's cool. But I, how old are you? I'm 29. I feel like I'm 25. I, 25. I feel like I am starting. I feel like I don't you know. You want a wife right now, huh? It, yeah, I'm locked in right yeah, now. Uh, yeah, 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 I'm locked in. So I'm your body count basically right is from 15 to 20. Yeah, it's well, gone I guess, negative. Like, I guess we got to take this shot, guys. Yeah, I, think, I think that's for us. I think that's yes, for us. Yeah. Even if you got to lie, just answer them. So <laughs> no. another shot. I'm not lying to you, bro. I'm being honest. No, I'm telling you, yeah. though, so I can get another shot. I, I really don't fuck with, like... Oh, <laughs> Respect. I feel that. I feel that. All games. I had like, but I, I went through it and I really just, it just wasn't my thing, bro. Second question. Who's the worst dress on camera right now? <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, we're all wearing black tees. <laughs> what do you mean, bro? So, this so, is like a stock, these are stock image, like, so this is no rating. This is just a foundation you when you, you build have, the character. So you're saying we all look you crap? Have, 
You have to answer. <laughs> this you, is the neutral factory. You setting. have to answer, though. You got to answer. Who has the hardest fit? No, who's, who's, the, who's, the, worst, the, worst who's the, worst the worst dress? Y'all set me up. I got the mind you. I it's the not even on. that. It's not even crazy, but it's only because it's with the gray. <laughs> <laughs> it's only because they just got the contrasting colors. Yours kind of just went to the, like security. Yeah, you were too. You were, yeah. yeah. The thing is, I'm the cutest nigga up here. <laughs> so, it but the matter. thing he had, he had a whole varsity jacket. Everything was yeah, built around, yeah. The whole everything was built around the jacket. See, look, see, yeah. look. We we had we had the, we had the black unis on. I had some other all. shit. I had a hoodie. So I, I took like, it off. I had a beanie. I took it off, bro. Off. We're trying to figure it out. But it's you, gonna be. But look, you had the black faded jeans on with the black faded Jordans on type shit. So yeah, yeah. Black I would have picked you too, Jordan's nigga. It worked. It worked, nigga. I had he, the jacket hey, on. And he answered, so push the shop. Y'all, they trying to get on my ass. Boy, y'all try. Pause, nigga. <laughs> no, we're out, bro. It's all three shots. <laughs> yeah, pause. pause. That was hella pause. pretty. Pause. Pause. <laughs> pause. All right. So he he two for he two for O right now. Two for O? It's only one question, right? No, that was two. two. That was two. What was the Body other count. one? Question. Body, Body count. count. What was the other one? Body count. Who's the worst? Who's the worst? What's uh, the worst dress? Oh, that was it. Yeah. I forgot about that one. That was. Uh, a, uh, uh, I thought you were just was... asking for my genuine no, opinion. Oh, let me. I'll take it. Damn, you guys suck at this game. Holy fuck. Yeah. That's why I be trying to ask a question. Look at going to answer. Hey, I be trying to. No, I got I be trying to. Okay, I got okay, it. Bro, I, to be real, to be real, my whole life, bro, I'm not a liar. All right, look. To be real, I'm about to lie right now. I be. I'm a. I'm a truth teller for sure. All right. Cheers, 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 cheers. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> All right, ready? I need to catch I up to him. Apparently, he like took 10 more shots. You want to see him? I, got, I got him. I got him. All right, ready? Who's the worst artist in TDE? Oh, <sighs> you're not a liar, by the way. Take a shot. Uh, I don't think any of them are the worst. I can't do it, but I'll shoot. Salute to you. Salute to you. Bro, everyone on the TDE roster is so fucking talented, bro, in their I own feel, ways. I, feel I, that, I could never no. answer that I feel question, that, but yeah. there's also, like, you know, it's, this, this, this is a... Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I, yeah. This, this you like, could, I could say, like, my least favorite to listen to. That would be more like a... But I already drank, so I guess we'll never yeah, know. Okay. Yeah. You can okay. still answer, though. No, 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 that's, no, I drank. We, that's we, the we game. For that one. <laughs> what the hell? You can't. You can't. <laughs> no, I drank, dude. You can't do that. You can't break right, the rules right, of the right. game. Have you ever had a threesome? No, I got close though. <laughs> can you tell well, us, can you well, tell us what? what that, I, then? How close? It does did it, it get? Does it count if the girl was if the girl was there, but I didn't actually. She, she was in she the bed. She, she was like vibing with the girl though. It was more. Mm. Uh, so you basically you do you have threesome, yeah, like. But I didn't. I didn't. Well, can you tell us? Wait, can you tell us the story? But like, well, I don't. I don't know what you mean by that. It was just the other girl was more. I guess it is a threesome then. Okay, so what yeah, but it? I didn't fuck both the girls. Can you tell us the story though? Like, what happened? <laughs> Hollywood parties, man. <laughs> was it? Was this in Hollywood? This was in San Francisco. Ooh. Did better. you sing to him? <laughs> oh wait, bro. Hold on. I can shoot. I'm about to answer the question like I have to right now. Oh I yeah, can't do get that to it. it. Yes, sir. Mm. <laughs> mm. I almost forgot this. <laughs> it gets tricky for me when I talk about specific people and places because I don't want to out people either at the same nah, time. Yeah. Yeah. Say this podcast, right? honestly. Nah, really but about... I know so many people and so many people that are going to know what I'm talking about. They're it's like, know. that's good. Yeah. And that's what we try to do. We try yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. That's why I'll, I'll be drunk. But can, huh? can you tell us the story fed. behind behind that? He took a shot. No, it was just. Oh, you just... took a shot. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. All right. How how much money did you make off love? Oof. You can take a shot, or you can answer it. I really want to know. So. It, it's still coming, but I um. Ooh. I, I I don't know. Y'all hear that? I don't know hear the... that. So, but I'll He's tell you guys coming. the story when I first got the first check ever. Like, bro, I'm with my girl to see to check my phone to see if so you I do got get... a girl. No, nah, this is years okay, ago. Okay, okay, this okay. is when love came out. Yes, I'm going to check my I'm going to check my phone to see if um to see if uh I have enough money for food and like to go out. And bro, that shit I had 34k in my bank account, and I was like, I don't know what the fuck I'm even looking at right now. You thought that shit glitch or something? <laughs> yeah, so bro, bro. so no when way. when you saw that hit your account, what was that the first was... thing you thought about buying? You thought you going to jail type shit. Definitely wanted to get into like my own apartment. That's what I wanted because I was yeah. living with like five other roommates. So I got a, I got a little yeah. lot. Yeah, yeah. That got settled. Got settled. That was the first one. Yeah. Damn. 
That's a lot. Imagine just checking your bank account, just like thirty four k in that bitch. So you're telling me on camera that that, but yeah. I'll tell you that that one like as as one that uh um. That would probably like it doubles too because I had the songwriting and the publishing. So the next one came in like a close amount too. So, and then uh, that first year, and then they start to come down a little bit, a little bit because the first week and like first year is always gonna be the best. Are you the type of person to like spend your shit on materialistic things or do you like to like save and shit? Um, I'm not the best with money, but I like to I like to spend my money on like going places. You like, like experiences. Experiences. on experiences for real yeah, yeah, shit you'll right. remember. Yeah. So in in all, like, how much do you think you made all that song? Uh, From like when it dropped to like now, like well, he in said, all, he said he's still getting money off. Yeah, shit. he said. Still. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can. Uh, it's yeah. still coming. That's it. That's yeah. That's, that's monthly. The printer, huh? That's yeah, a, so like, what's what's what? the? Man, I don't. I don't even. Have you put it? Have you just put a number on it? It don't got to be like you know. One, yeah, 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 yeah. Take a shot. It's a shot. <laughs> Niggas pocket watching. <laughs> damn. No, we. Uh, we damn. I, I gave the game. Like, the game, the game is called Plead the, the Fifth. Yeah. Plead the Fifth. Plead in the Crown. All right. Who's the most famous person in your phone right now? And Facetime them. Mm. That's tough. Was that a demand or a question? So basically, it's like. <laughs> so like, who's who, the most? Who's the most famous person in your phone? And uh, if so, you gotta you gotta Facetime them. That that's not a question though. <laughs> I have to Facetime them. Yeah, you gotta Facetime them. Yeah, bro. I really don't like bothering people. I think the most famous in my phone right now is SZA. Yeah, oh, for sure. Are you able to number one him? artist in the Are you able, are you, are you able to Facetime her though? Yeah, but I guarantee you, she's not gonna answer. And if she do, I'm macking her down <laughs> <laughs> on everything. <laughs> I can't do that, bro. I can't FaceTime her on the podcast. I feel that. I feel that. So. Bro, she just skyrocketed into the number one crazy, artist in the bro. world this year. And that's She's going crazy. crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, that's bro. Going I'm crazy. trying to imagine, like, even, like, how busy I get, right, mm-hmm. on the level I'm at. Yeah. To imagine how busy, uh, yeah. like, she is, bro. Yeah. It's like, fuck, I'll just see you. Have you ever wrote any shit for her? Nah, SZA has yeah. her own pen. Mm. Yeah. There was, there was SZA around. is a writer. There was, mm-hmm. yeah. there was rumors going around that you, heard, you wrote snooze. No, I <laughs> <laughs> no, Scissor's like, pen is crazy. She writes for real, for real. That's dope as fuck, though. So I mean, that means we gotta take a shot then. I'll take that one. I love Scissor. He name dropped, but he didn't Facetime. I guess that we got. You shot. tried to set him up. With Me, because that. well, you did say what's the famous person. And you got a Facetime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I was about to say. <laughs> I was about to say futures. I'm not gonna. <laughs> give me, give me, give me a little shot. Ooh, what's the score right now? Oh, no. You winning. Yeah. I didn't have like three or four. He losing the first one. He losing him. right now. Ooh. All right. All right, ready? Who's your favorite ex? Mm. My last one. What was her name? No, Shout her out. I answered the question. Just, I answered no. the question, just, bro. Just, just, a, just a first <laughs> name. Bro, just a no first way. name. Just a first I, name. Did I answer the question? What her name start with? There's what her no name? way. Well, okay. I actually, I actually loved her. So I'll never say her what, name. What, what's her name start with? <laughs> Damn, even that we can't get a little. I'm sorry, bro. An like S to T. Uh, have you guys been in love? Yeah. yeah. With no. your, is there any of your exes I'm, that were? Well, is there any of your exes where, like, out of respect for them, you you would respect them enough to not? Yeah, but I'll say her name start with a C. You know how hard that is to find out what a C. No, <laughs> so, no. Yeah. I feel like maybe actually it, never mind because. The, he the type of nigga that he go research. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, <laughs> hell no. Nah, nah, I'll give, I'll give I mean, you that. I can't, yeah, yeah. I can't do it. There's, there's niggas drink. out there. I mean, <laughs> hell no. Don't play. I drink. What? You talking about I'm trying to research. Get <laughs> off of me, man. <laughs> All right. I respect like that. But do you... So you love her then, huh? What are we talking about right now? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I was just taking my shot right now. <laughs> We got, we got one more. Who's we your favorite? What's your name? And do you love it? That was three, right? Well, I mean, you you did <laughs> you say the one that. word that'll describe you is love. So that's I a did, valid yeah. question. Yeah, it's like, I feel like when you have a connection with someone or you've been with someone for a long time, aside from like uh, being or the physical shit, they're like a family member. Like yeah. they're tied to you. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Out of respect. I'm on the same page as you because like, you know, we all, we all, I'm pretty sure we, Everybody in the room, I'm, people, I, people that I can't see the people in the room, but we all 
have that one person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That you feel me? Yes. Like, you know? I'm looking for. <laughs> yeah, Her name will not be spoken online. There's some niggas that's still looking for that person, but there's some people, you feel me, that yeah. have that one person that we still go be. Yeah. All if, right. Even if we break up or not, we still go be. What's yours? What's your name? Start with a C. I told you. I already told you. I ain't scared to say it. Say it then. Let's start with a C. Say her name. Let's start with a C. Say her name. Tap in. Start with a C, nigga. You ain't gonna say her name? Fuck no, because you... Never mind. Nah. Never mind. We gonna move on. Bro, you see this? We gonna right? go move on. We gonna move on. But, but see, see, look. We gonna move on. Justin, 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 my thing is, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. My thing is, Justin should have to drink because of that. Why? He should have to drink. These are not my questions, nigga. Why well, we can't ask you too? Sock that fool in the face, bro. <laughs> <laughs> why, why, we, why we can't ask you? Yeah. Push his lights yeah. out. Yeah. Like, like, y'all, y'all can cut this out. Nah, keep it. Oh, keep that shit right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, bro, to be honest, even where we fuck him and all this shit is so fun and dope. Like, yeah, it really is. Yeah, is you guys use it use shows the, the it shows the uncut. Like, I think that's why I wanted to come on this and oh, do goodness. shit like this. Because it should be it's more. Like, like, that's what I like to hear exactly, from artists. Exactly. It should be more uncut shit. Like just. Speak your mind. Yeah, yeah. Like, this shit is just... Just say what's on your chest, basically. Yeah, so why you didn't say your baby mama name? <laughs> why you didn't say your baby mama name? Oh. Who gave you the worst verse you ever got back? <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That's, shut up. Shut up. <laughs> shut up. This is bad, brother, because the the name-dropping questions, I don't think I'll ever do. He was shut about up. to say J. Sam. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take one with you. Fuck it. Oh, I'm by myself. <laughs> Nigga really think they sound. You see me go cheers? Nobody went up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was the last one of the game. I just game, huh? toasted a <laughs> ghost right I, I, now. I'll cheer I'll cheer the cheers. That, that was the last one of the game. Uh-huh. I'm just trying to get on Justin level. My bad, boys. <laughs> Can't name drop. I'm sorry. Well, Respect, that's though. That's the whole point. We Respect. Gotta you, you gotta make your drink. Don't bro. kiss and tell. Fuck that. <laughs> All right, so enough with the game shit. Um, I want to talk about I want to talk about your your album coming up next. Yes. What can we expect? Like, like out of all your albums that you already put out, like what's different about this album? Because I've I've we've <clears throat> we've heard it here, yeah. and I'm not gonna lie to you. Like I would not lie to you. Look at you, eye to eye. <laughs> yeah. That shit. That shit is fire. <laughs> Thank you, man. Fuck. That Hell shit yeah. is fire. Hell yeah, man. I appreciate From the it. intro to all the other songs you played, that yeah, shit yeah. is fire, brother. Thank you, man. Them tracks you played was so crazy, like, yeah. bro. Yes. The people out there, what can we? What can we expect? That they they have a list too. So what can we expect from? Zachary? I feel like because <clears throat> a lot of these songs too come from over the years. Some are mm-hmm. like. Six, five years old, some three years old, two yeah. years old, some was like earlier this year. Some we still just like edited just a few months ago. So it's like, I feel like they can expect definitely my favorite personal songs that mm-hmm. I've made over the past few years. I think some of my better writing I've saved for this album mm-hmm. too. But sonically, I feel like where I struggled with over the past few years, or not struggle with, but what I wanted and what I wanted to create yeah. was a sound that could still go crazy in these festivals. That could still have these 808s that shake the shake the room because I love that shit. Like yeah. what I want when mm-hmm. I'm riding around, yeah. what I love. But my voice is like, how how can I how can I like <clears throat> how can I make some music and find mm-hmm. it in my own sound where I can you know what I mean? Put on the tracks. And stuff. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Especially when I was being around these other artists and all the music I was hearing is just so fresh and new. Mm-hmm. And you notice it's the same where it's like they're always looking to make it better and, and keep everybody has challenging a, themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone has their different sounds too. Mm-hmm. So like, for example, your audience, you have a different sound. So people go to you for that one sound. Mm-hmm. So it's like, what's this album bringing to the table to where like, you know what, I'm going a, I'm to a do everything I can. And like I said, I heard the album. I feel like you you reaching every audience with this album. Yeah, I like from the intro song that you play me to the the other five songs that you play. Like I feel like each and every song is different but similar. Yeah, but like it's really like I think crazy. that's what's taking me so long too is like how to have all these different inspirations and all these different sounds that I love and mm-hmm. I want to 
put out, but how do I make it all make sense together? That's yeah. what's been so hard for me, I feel like, the past few years mm-hmm. is for it to make sense in my head to where it's like, okay, I'm ready to introduce this. Rather than while I'm making it and shit, bro, I'm lost in that shit. Mm-hmm. I'm studio yeah. hopping. I'm not sleeping. Like, I'm learning from Skrillex. I'm, like, sitting in these terrorist smart crazy. rooms. Mm-hmm. Like, like, bro, like... <clears throat> When you see these these greats and these artists and what it takes and, and how and their work ethic and what they do, it's like I don't know, man. I'm I'm grateful to have like seen yeah. that. That's, that's just what yeah. I've been on. Do you like when you're in a studio? Do you realize like, all right, this one's it? Like, have you ever re- like been in the studio? I'm like, nah, this one's gonna be like. I, I know, I know. When when I have a song that I made that this is coming out and I love this. And is that gonna be on the next album? Yes. You have to realize not everybody has that sound you have. Yeah. You 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 know that? Like no one can replicate what you do. You bro. different. <laughs> You're <laughs> different, bro. And, and, like no for real, like no one can do what you do. Yeah. Like, I feel like you're honestly one of a kind Thank And you. I'm not holding shit back Nothing yeah. I feel like you're really one of a kind Thank you man. And people really need to start Giving you your flowers Cause you exactly. really like that you, Cause exactly. you really like that Thank Exactly you, How did how did that uh, How did that feature come about? You and Ty are like Cool like that? You just reached out And you're like Hop on this or I'm trying to figure out how I'm trying to remember How me and Ty first ever linked up Yeah how that situation go about? Cause uh, he went to He went He went to Bakersfield like maybe like two times. Yeah, two years me, and Ty, me and Ty pulled up at Ty, Bricks together. Why Ty, 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 Ty was to Bricks that. twice though. Really? He went to Bricks two times. Cause Bricks be cracking. Nigga, no. Ty, bro, Ty, it was Ty crazy. I, I, I seen a flyer that he was going there and I hit him. I was like, bro, you're going to Baker Street. You didn't tell me. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, oh shit, bro. Got, he was you, like, he's like, told Yo. you told him you gotta check in, right? <laughs> he was like, bro, I'm 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 getting the uh like the sh- the shuttle van mm-hmm. and shit. So like just meet us at this in and out on the way out of the city and we'll go. So I took my car. Bro, it's like one of those buses, you got the drinks in the back. We're drinking yep. the whole way there. Bro, we get to Bricks, we go inside, get the section, he performs his songs. I blacked the fuck out, bro. I was so faded. <laughs> bro, I woke up on that fool's beanbag at his crib. Oh, then, wait, <laughs> you went all the way back to LA? Well, yeah, we had a driver and all that. Like Ty, Ty wasn't gonna stay in Bakersfield. <laughs> oh, yeah. of course not. Yeah, yeah. So you just left your car at In and Out. <laughs> no, oh, so I woke up. No, I did. I had to go. Get, I had to Uber from Ty's to get my yeah my car the next day. Said, it you, wasn't at In and Out. I parked in the neighborhood across the street. Uh, but you like it wasn't in the lot. You got a, you got an Uber from LA to Bakersfield. No, no, the shuttle took us. So, okay, let me let me see. So, the, so I pull up to In and Out, right? Because yeah. Ty's already on the way from the shuttle. They pick me up in the shuttle bus. We go to Bakersfield. They take me back in the shuttle bus, just straight to Ty's crib. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So Ty living. I'm I'm basing in L.A. Right? He's not yeah. gonna live in Bakersfield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's born. He's born and raised out here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, and then we came back. And I was just we we both got <laughs> fucked up. I remember me and that fool both throwing up in the grapevine. That's oh. you and Ty? yes. Pulled That's over. <laughs> this fool's taking a piss like ah, and I'm fucking puking <laughs> in the grapevine, bro. And then yeah, then next thing I know, I wake up on the beanbag. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> That's fire. Ty's man. real, man. He's one of those artists where it's like you've looked up to for so long, even with the hooks and like holding the Not West Coast real. down in California. So people, yeah. Our generation, you got some they, basically our generation call them the next Snake Dog. Yeah, bro. That's what I'm saying. Even in West Coast music, I feel like it's important to have that hook that people can mm-hmm. really, you know what I mean? It's been a thing. So and it's hard from Nate Dog, Ty, these are the artists that like I've looked up to and like, yeah, man, it's cool when you meet artists like that because Do you they're actually dope shirt? and they embrace you. Where it's like, damn, this, this is really a time. He this, plays yeah. bass, he produces. This fool produced a whole house beat in front of me where he chopped yeah. the sandwiches, me and him in the stew, like for hours. And then, yeah. He went fool, crazy on that, uh, this cooks up. on that Tiesto remix. Yeah. At this point in your career, do you ever get a star shrug on anybody? Mm. Has there been that one time where you were like, well, like, you're, like, you're like, you know what's funny, bro? bro? Crazy, you bro. know what's crazy? I, I feel like I have I didn't get, I haven't got star shrug around. Artists, I don't, I don't know why. Maybe it's just because it's, it's just like, um, it's, what do you do? Yeah, it's the environment. It's yeah. like it's, it's yeah. also work too. And also, yeah. when I meet artists and like how they really are, is like, mm-hmm. damn, I'm actually meeting someone who's like me because you never really like, yeah, like meet you know too many I, people. Yeah, that relate they're, to they're that. really like move like I don't know, bro. This locked this, in, yeah. locked into that from brain. A, from at a, from you an artist basically. standpoint, you think like, for example, like you guys are just re- like everybody. Regular human beings, right? Yeah, so, do you feel like you know that shit? Just like when you go out and all that shit, like people just over exaggerate over certain shit. <laughs> I don't. I don't think so. 
<laughs> but yeah, right. have you ever have you ever been starstruck? Oh yeah, so the one time I was, you guys ever watched Workaholics? I have actually, bro. Workaholics that shit, funny, bro. Fuck. That shit. That's just company, <laughs> bro. My dad put me onto that shit in high school. I graduated like 2012 too from my original. I don't know mm-hmm. what's our age difference. I We're 25. My brother's my brother's 25, so y'all okay. my little brother's age. No? Hell yeah. yeah. So we we little bro to you. Y'all little bro for sure. <laughs> well, what, I respect that. Where were we at before that? Have you ever been starstruck? Starstruck. Yeah, yeah bro. We used to love working hogs and that shit. But I saw that uh, I saw that fool at a party one time. That was probably the most starstruck. That's it. Like you, you, did you go to <laughs> the full Adam? You know Adam? Yeah, bro? you ain't you ain't go to you ain't go I to. Ain't going to bro. I was uh, like, oh my god, that's fucking Adam Devine. <laughs> 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 that shit used to crack me up. So like uh, the Black Panther album, album, you were on that, right? Mm-hmm. How- yeah, I feel like even when, when I get in with artists too, it's like, it's like, it's like when I meet them and shit, it's like almost I don't even have time to be starstruck. Like, how, how, was the, how was the experience being a part of the Black Panther album? That was really tight because this was Kendrick's first time. Um, he was like, he, he dude, did bro, like the whole thing. Yeah, right? bro. I used to, I, I was able to like sit in those sessions just we did the same thing where we booked out a studio with multiple rooms. So it was kind of like just we'd play. Everybody's, it was like this shit, but it was just yeah. studio. Yeah. We, yeah. yeah. And uh, so I'll get there early because they all like to work at night. So I'll get there early, just record myself, work on whatever, have people through. And then whenever Dot or somebody else would come through and take over, I would just sit in the room, bro. Just and I would sit in the room and then I would sit in the room, come the next day, sit in the room for a little bit before I dip. And then one of those nights, Kendrick was just like winning the mic. You know the redemption joint? Yeah. He did that whole hook on the mic. He was like, bro, you want to go sing that? For real? I was like, yeah, sure, I'm down. Yeah. That's Even the ad libs in the beginning, you know, the whoa, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, that's all my voice, like fucking around. That's dope. People as think fuck. that's like a sample or something from the movie. Oh, that's shit. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, you? That's dope as fuck. <laughs> oh, that's hell, I didn't know that's that. dope. He as wrote fuck. the, uh, oh, baby, I want you. Baby, I need you. He wrote that, all that shit. That's dope mm-hmm. as fuck, yeah, bro. He's that's a writer. Cool. He wrote Rihanna shit on his project, too. The so what, yeah, he had the whole song. When he, he, wrote, he, wrote, he wrote Rihanna shit mm-hmm. on that on the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Oh damn, that's crazy. <laughs> nah, that, that is that's crazy. Word, that yeah. is crazy. That is word. crazy. His pen is crazy. That fool is a genius, bro. Man. Yeah. So let me what? ask you though, out of everybody that you work with so far, who's been your favorite to work with and who's taught you the most? Mm, that's tough. I'm gonna have to shout out Absol on this one. Okay. Yeah. Shout out. He nice. was the first one out of can to really show me love. Yeah. And like encourage my sound and be like, <clears throat> you know what I mean? Cause he stayed at that house too for a little while. Mm. Yeah. With me. So like I, I spent so much time with that fool just in the studio, like yeah. listen to ideas. Like those were the the years where I was still like just got here and trying mm-hmm. to figure out what even is the music industry. Yeah. So I was blessed to to get there and him talk about high power and mm. high conscience and mm. like where that came from. I met Lupe Fiasco, bro. Him and yeah. Lupe Fiasco Damn. had a que- had a conversation in that basement studio. Bro, I don't know what it was. I couldn't understand what they were talking about. It was some <laughs> <song. laughs> <laughs> They were speaking to each other in like bars. Yeah. I was like, oh my God. And and yeah, bro, I have I have to shout out Soul, bro. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's my brother. And I feel like it's real important to have like those mentors, people who've been yeah, doing yeah. it for a while that can guide you mm-hmm. so that you're not making the same mistakes that yeah, they're yeah. making and can really just take that shit to yeah, another bro. level. All of them, even Q, bro, like, we recorded the love hook in his backyard. That's like, crazy. He, while he was on tour, um, he didn't even know me yet as a person, but he was on tour and just out of Musa, uh, he would let me use his back uh, mm-hmm. yard studio. So every and day, he bro, didn't know you? Didn't even know me. So, bro, me, every day, That's me and me, I would pull up by myself or with Teddy or somebody, and we would go through the backyard through his Doberman and shit and get jumped <laughs> and get in the back shit. But how, at that point, how do you feel about that? Like, were you like, you know, I'm respected in this shit? Like, you know, because like I said, you have a unique sound. Yeah. No one can replicate what you you do. So you feel like he respected you on that certain level, or was it like on uh, at some... this point he don't even know me or heard a thing about me? He was just oh, like, really? "Yo, Musa was just like, yo, can Zach record your shit?'" And he just said, "Are you bet?" Yeah, yeah, he was cool with it. Then he heard that voice. Well, then then we started going to Interscope more, mm-hmm. and it's like, and I started being around him more, and all his homies because he was in the room. Mm-hmm. He would let me just come sit in there too, like Q and me got along really well too. We're like the same, on the yeah. same yeah. shit. Yeah. That's Even we talk about video games too because he's a gamer. We talk about how like video games. You are don't like, be gaming so, like that, bro. Game. What games you be on? Lately, <laughs> I've been on CS too. 
I just what got is a PC. that? Oh, yeah. you a gamer gamer. You on that PC. You that PC? Gamer, gamer. I got tired of COD, bro. Oh, man. you was cold on COD. If you Nobody tries to see me in COD. Was. Lately, I haven't had time. It sucks, when, it sucks when you like be so busy and you come back to the game and everybody is just like... Nice. Yeah. Bro, like, nice, really bro. Sit there for <laughs> what? You get there yeah, again. Nice. Hilt off. Train. I tried COD. They was killing me every time. I switched to Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I got to be on the build. <laughs> I got to be on the build or something. Yeah, so, for, so not like, for real, though. Uh, would you say like... Musa gave you like the most love like when you first started coming around TD Musa was the one to like really get yes, you bro. in really get yes. you in yes, like bro. TD around TD and everybody else this will this, this will put me in a house when I, I so I didn't have to pay rent so all I had to do was think about making songs making and music and like that is such a that's crucial love. like that's position fire, to be in like I, mm. I was sharing that's, that's a, I was too, sharing though. a bedroom though I was sharing a bedroom with like Three other dudes, pause. But it's like yeah. you get a floor. One well, there was a couch, and then on the bed we we would uh, sleep opposite ways. For, yeah. For that. So it's like, bro, it was it was tight though. It, it was stressful. Yeah. It was cool. They had a full functioning studio in the basement, yeah. and like Soul be here, and like so y'all was cooking, huh? And producers are pulling up. That's like yeah. that's like the beauty and the grind, bro. Like, before I came right, to right, LA, right, I was right. working in Alaska in a hut. I don't give a you're, fuck. Exactly. You're, <laughs> you're, now you're doing what you're you love, dish, basically. You're, yeah, you're, that's you're a dishwasher, right? I was a dishwasher, <laughs> yeah. and then I was a breakfast cook, and then I worked my way up to a bear view fly school, fishing man. guide. Every year, yeah. I leveled up my leveled up. And that's what it's all about, just progressing every day, every year. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Off topic, how did it feel like carrying a blast? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Like, how did it feel? <laughs> like, on sometimes, you really carry that song, though. Like, I, know, I, I understand blast has a name, blast has all that shit, but like, did you, your back hurt? Like, like, all that? bro, Blast had the vision. He had the producer pull how, up. And how he all that shit studio. Come he he invited me to the studio. Oh, you know what? You know what's crazy? The actual story behind mm-hmm. this is actually nuts. Uh huh. The the dude who set this session up, the A and R, um, his name's Charles Burks. Okay. <clears throat> I met him at that Bryson Tiller studio around those years ago. Got it. He was just playing football for USC. Oh. He was just a funny, chill dude that was a homie of Bryson that would mm-hmm. hang out at the crib. Bryson Years Cole. later, he's Blast a and R Rebel. He's like, bro, you want to do a <laughs> session with Blast? I was like, yeah, yeah, pull up. Uh, bet we're going to get a, a Malibu house. Like, I pulled up. Me and that fool did two songs. And then we did that one. And I, uh, the producer that pulled up, Seven Thomas, that did the beat, mm-hmm. he he was the producer in our session that mm-hmm. day. Bro, that fool was coming to that same house, Craig's house. That's where I met Seven. I already oh, knew Seven. Yeah. I was like, bro, let's do it. He played the beat. I was like, I like, let's do it. I'm not gonna lie though. I'm saying song. like, even when people ask me like how I got here and what it is, bro, mm-hmm. I was like, bro, I have no idea. Things be lining up and so just, weird and just, yeah. it's, it's, bro. Everything and happens but, so fast. Everything, that's everything, that's everything falls in place. The best thing you can do, bro, is just keep seeing the, seeing the end goal and yeah. just keep working. That's a blessing. But yeah. I'm not gonna lie though, on that song, <laughs> like you really did, like, this is my opinion. This is my opinion. Like, I don't know what everyone else's opinion is, but you really carry that song. We carry each other. Y'all He's messy, sick. bro. <laughs> no, Y'all messy. I'm not, I'm not even saying no bullshit. Like, that nigga... The thing, bro, like, is... The thing, you really bro, did your shit on that out, song. Check it out. Thank you, bro. But, like, I'm saying, but I'm saying, I wouldn't have even ever thought of that shit unless he, like, told me to pull up. Unless he got that producer and he got the Malibu crib where I could see that shit and that's sing it. True. So, yeah. That's cause true. Because even all my music and all that shit, he set up, like... That was his vision. Yeah. And yeah, even yeah. his label and all the shit he does is inspiring as so fuck. So is that yeah. all like a, yeah. a coincidence that you, like, he just hit you up randomly, like, hey, pull up. Yeah, he reached out shit. to me. Charles, just, like, years nowhere, later, like, he was right, like, bro, like, you want to do a session? Hey, pull up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that song was just like, all right, that, pull up. We made that whatever. in person, yeah. And I, and we left the song only with my, with the hook and my post hook. And because as soon as we finish it, we're like, all right, that's it. We'll do yeah. the so verses whenever you're ready. Yeah, you did your part. And then we did the verses like a year later. That's oh hard. damn! So that song, oh, oh, that's fire. We knew from the hook and the post hook that we had to finish it at one point. Yeah, yeah. I do that a lot in sessions where you have time and like good vibes and you want to mm-hmm. create shit. If I've gotten to the song, the song to a point where I'm like, oh, this is it. I'll come back to yeah. it and really write my shit. That's, mm-hmm. that's what that was. I feel that. Damn, we really need to take a break from all this podcast and stuff and have more dinner. I heard some good things about this spot, so hopefully it's busting. Hi guys, welcome to Mom's house. Take a seat wherever you like. Hey, there's a curry pot going real good, huh? But it really is, bro. I'm so excited for this. It's gonna be smooth. Hell yeah. Hi, welcome in, guys. Have you guys been here before? No, this is my first time. 
Okay. Can I offer you guys anything or? What do you recommend? I have just a thing. So we got a chicken sandwich, some catfish, and then, thank you. I have a breast and a waffle. That look good though too. Oh, that looks fine. Ooh wee, I'm about to tear this up. Hold on, hey, my boy, what you got going on over here? Nothing, man, we just eating. Now, let me go ahead and get a piece of that, my boy. Good luck. Man, this homelessness is getting out of hand. So the next game we're gonna get into is called Who's Most Likely To? TD Edition. So these questions are gonna be based off TDA members. So the first question is, who's most likely to fuck a groupie? Mm. Dev. Dev Malik. Mm. Dev Malik. Yeah, yeah. Dev Malik. Devin Malik from Rancho Cucamonga. <laughs> you go fuck a bitch tonight. <laughs> Man, we got we got a couple crazy new artists, Dev and Yak. This other fool, Yak. Oh, it's a fool crazy too. Go crazy. So, so he the top one to fuck a Going for groupie. Right. He is drowning in bitches. <laughs> right, Dev? You're just hey, fucking hey, hey. drowning in pussy, right? Shout out, shout out to Dev. <laughs> hey, actually, we met Dev today, too, by the way. You heard his shit? And Dev shit goes Crazy. stupid. Sick, right? yep. So I need y'all yeah. to go to Apple Music and stream that nigga shit. Because he really goes stupid. And he's going to come out with some ridiculous shit. He got shit. some stuff yeah. for real. He got I some definitely... stuff on the way that's Man. really going to blow y'all niggas' minds out. When I met that fool, bro, he was like, it was like a TDE Daily? camp. And they're bringing producers sure, through. Sure, sure, uh -huh. sure, no, no, you ain't gonna take. No, 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 no. Nah, no, he you can take a shot if you no, want to. No, 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 because no, no. he he might take one. After. He trying to drink, yo, man. I'm him just so this. sober right now. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand why you guys are so faded. I'm trying to figure out why y'all are so faded. Pour your shit up. Shout out to him. Look, I'm probably like the least faded. I'm just kidding. I'm faded because I ain't slept since like two days yesterday. Two days. Not sleeping with like drugs or alcohol is fuck. Mind you, okay. We go, we go, we go, go off script for a little bit. We go off script, okay. So he you had can't a, go off script with the mic in your face. He, hey, no. he had a long ass night. You want you want to hear about his night? Yeah, let's hear about okay. it. Okay, wait. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna I'm only gonna tell if you, it's on script. I'm gonna tell you a little story real quick. Okay. So last night, yes, five a.m. in the morning. By the way, of today, today, this right? morning, this morning. Okay. So say for example, Dev. Since since yeah, we all, since we all know Dev, say say Dev, right? Say Dev met a girl while you was out, right? And he'd been texting this girl for a week. Let's say for a week. He met a girl that he'd been texting. And and he'd been texting her for a First week. First time right? they met in real life? Yeah. No, hasn't kissed, hasn't hugged, hasn't done nothing. He's just like, yo, he's just been texting, link okay? Up, yeah. And then next thing you know, he hits your line like, bruh, like. I'm at this girl's house. Come over. We have a possibility of a train this girl, right? Right? Just say that, that ain't how it happened. <laughs> Just say that's not how it happened. All right, all right. I'm a, I'm a, I need you. All right, I'm gonna let the person. I'm gonna I'm let. Hey, right, I'm gonna I'm gonna let the person. This bitch I'm is too hey, horny, bro. Hey, I'm gonna let the person. <laughs> I'm going to let the person describe it then. So she look, needs two. I'm gonna She's let the not person... taking one. She needs two. <laughs> I'm going to break it down. If it's, I, if it's not both of us, it's none hey, of I'm us. Gonna, I'm going to break down the whole night. First of all, we go to Andrews. I think we go to we the go club Noble's house. anyway. You, you, you was at Noble's and house. And they like, we ain't, we ain't going to the club. So I'm like, okay, we drinking here. And then the homie left to go hang Raise out. Raise your hand if you've been shot at outside of Casamigos. Or Casa Tequila. <laughs> Nigga, you... <laughs> You, nigga. Oh, wait, we got a different story about that. We got a different story about that. I wonder if we were in the same parking no, okay, lot. Okay, There's okay, multiple shootings at Casa I got, Tequila, I got right? No, no, no. right here. It was, it was that night we seen you. Me. It was, hey. Hey, he trying to drink That's all some Casa. It was that night. Crown, it was that bro. night. Was that night we, the fuck it was that night you was at Casa Tequila. He got great. That was that night. He got great. The, the yes. This nigga thought he got shot. He got. He thought he got shot. I jumped in the trash can. I, I feel know. like you'll know if you get shot. No. No, nah, my shit was so, bleeding. I got uh, grazed. Grazed. Hey, you got stuff. actually grazed with the bullet? It could have been the bullet <laughs> or the trash can I jumped in. It could have oh, been either one. Oh, I seen this story on that. Yeah. It, it, it could have been either one. This nigga had Wait, a so I was on. there? It was the that same was, That was that night. That, I'm pretty sure that was that night. I'm it was. Because sure. I was this there nigga, with my brother, too. He, he bought a hot dog at the, at the hot dog stand, right? Martinez, right? He bought a hot dog. And 
Yo, oh my Yo, first yeah. time, you know, you know him. He hopped out. He grabbed a glizzy. Like he, he grabbed, grabbed three of them. <laughs> he had he a like glizzy. swallowed them whole, and then and then after he was like, there was shots. No, he heard with the bacon on it. <laughs> he heard he heard the shots with the bacon on it. He heard he was, he was eating his glizzy. Heard the shots. This nigga, bro. The thing about him eating the glizzy is like he just got it. I looked over. It's gone. Yeah, no, one no, bite. No, but he no. he jumped in the he jumped in the trash can with the hot dog because niggas was shooting. I still ate that motherfucker, and he too. still ate it. Okay, why? Why? I saw it's probably that. a little vibe in there, huh? Look, yeah, it was, everybody it was. out there screaming. You're just inside. And I had a brick. It's all quiet. I had a brick chill. barricade around me. But why I see them? They run into the car, right? They talking about. I'm like, hey. Like, leaned out of the trash can. Hey, they talking about Dalen, come on. I said, open the door for me so I could dive in the car. Like, hey, ain't just about to come over. All right, to tell, the- tell them that story about yesterday. Yeah, let me get back to it. It ain't story. happen yeah. how you was I just remember, I remember seeing that clip about uh, Casa Tequila and the shooting. I was like, bro, I'm pretty sure that was the same night I was there. For nah, you was, you was there. I, yeah. I'm pretty sure you, because I... I'm I'm pretty sure you was there, but I, tell me tell me that story about last night, your last night for So we were at Noble's house, right? Who? Noble. 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 We're Say at it Noble's again. house. Who? Who? <laughs> we're sipping and shit over there. The homie was over there too. But then he left to hang out with some female, and then we're just chilling, drinking, vibing. Some other females came over. They left. Blah blah. blah. He calls the homie. Calls. He's like, "Oh, what y'all doing or whatever?" And we're just like. We out here drinking. Like, we just drinking and shit. He said, come over here. We was like, who's there? He's like, me and this girl. So we like, ain't no other bitches. Like, it's just you and this girl. You feel me? And so he's like, whatever, I'm going to come get you. And he starts coming, and I'm just like, I'm drinking. So I forget to even tell him, like, I ain't trying to go. And he swoops me. Go to the girl house. You're fucked whatever. up at this point already. No, no, hear me out. Hear me out. You're clear minded. You're just hear me locked out. in. Hear ready me to out. go. Fucking I'm just like, we chill. with your bro. We go back. <laughs> <laughs> we drink it. You've been, you've been sober all day waiting for him to and hit then, you up. Like, no, uh, she, I'm, wait I'm locked. I'm locked, bro. No, I, I was you. drinking, but she started giving <laughs> signals, right? And I'm like, bro, what's up? We can just tag team. Fuck it. You know, it is what it is. And he's like, let's do it. All right? And so, but I'm like, since you brought me over here, I'm going to let you do your thing first. So What? You, no. <laughs> no, I'm No, like, finish your story, bro. No, Just keep staying because, on your story. Because Stay I focused. know. The thing is, she really wasn't fucking with someone. This was last night like at 5 a.m. This was 5 a.m. This was yesterday. today. This was this today was at 5 a.m. Oh, damn. This, this is that recent? This, this, this was today. today. <laughs> this was this oh, morning. Damn, but she wasn't really fucking with the homie like that, right? It's so a, the homie caught you. He's like, yo, this girl don't fuck me, bro. Can you come fuck no, me? No, he didn't say that. He just was like, I'm on the way to come get you. Come over here. At first, I thought it was a bunch of girls there, but it was just one girl. So I'm like, first of all, why are you even calling for the homies telling us to, to come, come over through. there? It's one on one. In the first it's place. In the first it's place. Like, bro, if you're going to hit that. Just hit it. Like, just hit it. Don't call us to come over there. But long story short, she started fucking with me more than she was fucking with the homie. So I hit it. <laughs> <laughs> and he was mad. But I'm like, bro, y'all Why ain't... you call me then? <laughs> yeah. yeah and was, y'all, y'all, ain't, y'all ain't kissed, ain't held hands, ain't yeah. did nothing. But the thing is, the homie still, he still got hoes. He still got hoes. He's so mad it, about, he's it's mad fine. About the situation. He not mad. That nigga just hung over still. <laughs> he ain't even he ain't even wake up yet, bro. It probably. just sounds like he you guys got home. drunk and fucked some girls out. <laughs> Bro, but they making a big deal about it saying I'm fucked up right. because he brought is, me is over he, there. Is, uh-huh. is, is, is he fucked up about that situation, though? Like, his like homie, fucking, fucking his homie his... invited him to chill with his homie and his girl. Why you invite and me over there And he ended up fucking anyways. his homie's... The girl he was chilling with. Yeah. Is that fucked up on his part? They've been day one's homie since, like, middle school. I don't school. know. Not if he doesn't really know the girl. His homie doesn't know the girl. I don't even know the girl. I ain't yeah. know her name to this it's morning. Bad. When he, the, when he texted me, cussed me out. The girl, that's what the girl wanted. She got so what he she wanted. So he not fucked up. He not, cool. he not fucked up. I don't I don't know. Not if he was chilling already. He wouldn't okay, even okay. left the crib. Makes sense. Makes sense. Right? I ain't, I wasn't, like, bro, I was chilling sense. at a crib. Why'd you tell me to come over here? Bro, you're I, right, I, I wasn't. You're right, you're right. Especially if it's that late, too. 5 a.m.? Like I wasn't even in town for four hours. You're right, you're right, you're right. No, it was late. Bro, we was over there for a minute. Like, sorry, bro. We was over there for a minute, too. So 
Thank, no, it's, thank it's, you. Thank you. Because if say, I, I like to sleep, if I'm not going to go to sleep, why am I going to be? Well, I'm my... like, if the shoe was on the other foot, I'd be like, hey, at least my homie got it. Yeah. At least my homie got it. Now you're right. What? Well, right. right. I'm going to go on the hub. You I right. don't know, bro. <laughs> would you be, would, uh, so if you're in like his homie in the other position, would you feel like, oh, like, way. like, fuck him? Like, damn, he took my, he took my bitch. Type shit. I can't imagine a reason why I'd call my homie to come <laughs> <laughs> when I'm with a girl by myself. No, I'm fact. trying to figure it out. I don't. That's fact. That's, that's on fact. him. I've never heard of this situation. To be real, like he will know when we talk about it. Like I'm he, trying to he, say, like <laughs> what was his intention? Have you asked him, like, bro, why? <laughs> yo, to like later when everyone's sober tomorrow, be like, hey, bro, like, yo, real shit. Like, why did you actually call me to come over? Like, he was, he was, out? he was, I don't, I just think he was turned and didn't even oh, know okay. what he was yeah. doing. Well, bro, if everyone's faded, then fuck all that. Well, he that, was making it boy, sound man. like it was a bunch of girls over there at first. And it's you and one girl. Sounds but like you guys are all just drunk like, fucking around. Like, wait, who all over there? Yeah, you guys are just drunk and fucking around. <laughs> yeah. All right, <laughs> all right so we gonna get into the next question, right? We're in the middle of the damn game and this shit went way the other way. <laughs> So we're going to get back into these questions. So the next question, who's most likely to black out before, before performing? Oh, we're still... What, 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 what's this, our segment? This, <laughs> we're going back to the segment after yeah. No, we... Hey, we okay, okay. The, this okay, is TDE. It, it, uh, edition. So like everybody in TDE. Who's, who's most, most likely to black out before performing? Honestly, bro, they've all got their shit on lock, bro. Ooh. If anybody, I'll black out before my performance. Yeah, <laughs> you know, real? Yeah, nah, man, to be real, none of them be blacking out. And even like, even the ones that do be drinking, like Q and shit, his, he be drinking. Who you say? It don't affect him. Q? Yeah. Oh, Q? He'll, he'll drink more than any. I, like, I ever seen him go up on stage and kill that shit. So yeah. I don't know. So that's, that's your answer. Crazy. I, haven't, I, I honestly haven't seen any of the TDO artists blacked out before no. per performing. Nah. What you been on? What like, the fuck, bro? It's like, imagine this. I bro. feel like a lot of artists do that, though. Ima like. I, maybe, but imagine this, bro. Like on, on level TDE, you're getting these thousand dollars. This many people bought tickets for your show. Yeah. You can't you can't be not on point yeah. when you go on yeah. stage. So you've been, you been on like tour with them, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the championship so, like, tour. Who, but like, who, who who was like the most like faded that they got like hella faded? Do all, them, do all them drink like equally? I feel like, like TDE is not the best for wild stories because everybody be like healthy and private and locked in to be real. That's good. I would That's keep it real. Like though. one of the crazy things that stood out for me on tour, Kendrick literally had one truck filled with gym equipment that would <laughs> really? bring a pop up gym backstage. Oh, damn. Now, so you back there. <laughs> yeah, bro. And SZA, she'll be meditating with the crystals outside. <laughs> this isn't the blackout yeah. bunch, bro, to be real. How is it? Like going Straight on tour up. though, like how's that lifestyle? And then like again, how do you like experience? Like, what's your experience life on tour? Man, my experience on tour was just soaking up and learning. I feel like whenever I'm in those situations, especially early on, I'm like a student where it's like, okay, what can I learn and how do I? Because I know on this on this tour, it's like I'm going on tour. I'm gonna get, be able to see America. I'm yeah. Gonna Canada, I'm only going for one song. Mm -hmm. So like I know that like I could get some fans and shit, mm -hmm. but my main my main intention on this was just to observe and figure yeah. out. And this next is. album coming out, do you plan on going on tour? Hell yeah. And like at least what what I want to do is I want to at least do some shows like that I cater and then mm -hmm. I, I do the whole experience and some intimate ones. If I went on a tour, I'd want to open up, but I really want to just start releasing more music and doing yeah. shows. And why why don't you do that? Like, why don't you release music, like, just, like, every week or, like, every, it's, like, you know? There's so many reasons, bro. And when you look, look, look over the past few years, it's, like, with my career, you got to keep in mind, when I started doing festivals, when I dropped my first EP, Run Wild, Run Free, after Damn, the world shut down. That's yeah. true. Yeah. That's Straight true. up. Yeah. My timing was pretty fucked. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. you still made it, though. I'm still here. Yeah, still that's working. what I'm saying. You still made still it though. Going. Yes, yes. But I'm saying those those were times where we had to take into account where it's like, damn, do I want to drop my album in the middle mm -hmm. of pandemic? Yeah, yeah, no, that's fact. And on that, uh, or 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 do I want to like, you know what I mean? I wrote so much shit and learned so much about myself during those. Is that years. why you hold on to music? I think so. Cause that intro you to showed me. To be honest, me. Th th I've been asked this question: is like, why you wait so long? And and bro, it's just so many, so many different reasons. Even even, yeah. even that intro you just showed us. 
that was from five years ago. Yeah. And that shit still sound <laughs> like today's music. Yeah, like, yeah. that shit still sounds I think fire. that's the benefit I had was, like, the people I work with and the music I make, I think, is ahead to where I can wait as long. I think, honestly, too, is because you have your own sound. Yeah. And it's no one, no one, <laughs> no one's competing with your sound. And that's where I've been the past few years. Like, when people don't see me or they don't, I've been trying to figure out what that is. Mm-hmm. So I can present it in the right way. Exactly, yeah. On, the, on that uh, EP that you dropped, it was uh, Run Wild, Run Free. Mm-hmm. You work with Yachty too on that one. Yeah, yeah. How was that? How was that? That's how did that come I met about, him though? at Coachella, bro. That's I was hard. rolling Coachella balls be too. Cracking. Man. <laughs> that was when uh, Dan first came out. I met him backstage. And um, yeah, I remember just being cool as fuck. When I first walked up to him, he was just like, well, I don't know who you are. And I kind of explained like, I just... Because, bro, I ain't even been around I made a song with Kendrick. I don't even, yeah. I'm rolling balls. I'm like, this is a crazy night. I don't know how to approach you. But I just walked up. He's like, bro, that's amazing. He took my number. Like, I texted him. I sent him a song. It was all love. He sent me back a verse. Like, that's yeah, hard. Yeah. That's, yeah. Hard. That's, that's hard. hard. That's hard. Yeah, bro. Shout out to him. That's yeah, hard. That's, that's, lit. that's lit. Yeah, bro. All right. Uh, so, we're going to get into the next question. Who's most likely to black out... Bo- oh, shit. <laughs> you. All right. Next question. Who's most likely to take care of you on a drunk night? Probably SZA. is the caretaker. She's like the... She's, she's like mom the mom. Wise. Like, yeah, she, she is. She real is, nurturing. Uh, yeah, yeah. But to be real, anywhere on TDE, if, if they saw me fucked up, they'd take care of me. Yeah. That's All right, so I mean, that's that's a drink for us. Oh, it so. sure is. That's Good luck. You was looking out, huh? Cheers. No, you ain't got a drink, but I'm just saying it's a drink. Today. I mean, he could drink. He could drink with us. Yeah. Anyways. Cheers, cheers, cheers. All right. <sighs> Who's most likely to get arrested after a night out? One <laughs> Bro, I'm telling you, when you, we ask questions like this, where it's like TDE out of them, I don't fucking know, wild bro. Card, huh? You you won't see him out there slipping like that. I know, I know, but like, who's that wild who's, card? That's Q like... was wild. Q was wild. I I'll, 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 I'll shout out Q. So be ill. But the thing is, bro, is he be so his tolerance is so high with all that shit. Yeah, yeah. Know, bro. So if you had one person name, it'll be it'll be it'll be Q. To like what get blacked out? No, 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 to get arrested. To get arrested yeah. after a night out. Bro, but Q, yeah, shout out Q. That's that's, that's another shout or out. Or you, know, or you, huh? Yeah, or I'm you. You seem thing, like you bro. be sipping for real. <laughs> uh, hey, we've been me, drinking bro. so much this okay. nigga still not drunk. What he said? Yeah. He said I'm still sober. Y'all drunk? <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> I'm weak. I'm thick, bro. You're 165? Yeah. Like, what the? No, nah, right now. Light. Right basically, now. basically, he's saying you lightweight. I don't that no, bro. Basically, he's saying you. Flex, Nick, you see how skinny he is? I flex between 160 and 172. It really depends on how much you I'm working flex? out, though. You lightweight, nigga. Bro, I can look right. more than you. Most bro. likely. That don't mean shit, nigga. Show, I'm just telling you. Probably me. All right, go ahead. You? All right. Who's most likely to get dropped by TD? <laughs> nigga, you ass. Y'all right. are messy. To be real, it's either you name somebody or you take a shot. Oh, we're still playing that game? I thought this was a new game. Yeah, I thought it was a new game, too. It is. Who's more like Cheers. <clears throat> yeah, you ain't even have to take a shot. Well, I have to to catch up with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right, right, so uh, when was when was your, like, when was your I made it moment? When was that? I feel like it was the first time when Love came out. Love it was came on the radio. Out. When it was on the radio and it was like everybody heard it and you can't... Do you, like, you remember that like... That, like even if you weren't looking for it and didn't want to hear it, you heard it. You remember that like... If you didn't know you heard it, you, you heard remember it. your play, like that exact moment when it like came out? Like I remember what were the, you doing? I like, remember the first? the first time when I realized the song was actually coming out. Because when I, when I originally brought it to Kendrick and played it for him in the studio, he was like, I need that. And next day he asked me for the stems and we got on the stems. So, like, um, the first time I was really like, oh, fuck, was when I went to Top's house to have a meeting. He had a meeting. His crib is a fucking palace, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I bro, there, there's like, there, yeah, Top, Top, shout out to Top, bro. And his story is fucking crazy, bro. He came from nothing, bro. I, so, when I you mean, see his shit, it's, it's, I heard, it's, 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 yeah. I heard his story. His like, story on, is crazy, on, on bro. On Duckworth? Yeah, uh, yeah. Duckworth. I, like, Kendrick yeah, told that, that shit. That shit was crazy, bro. And yeah, bro. I had a meeting there with him. And before my meeting started, he had a meeting in there before me. And I hear him play that shit with Kendrick's 
whole verses and that's the first time I heard it in his living room he's playing it in his office that's for crazy. someone else so you weren't even in and there and I'm like damn I know what my meeting's about to be about <laughs> <That's crazy. laughs> yeah you know what I mean cause I feel like that song was so universal too and Kendrick is such a amazing artist and mm-hmm. his his pen is so like impactful and, and like yeah. everything he says is so important and I feel like some people who like aren't interested in things like that don't like look over him. But no matter who you are, when you hear that song, you it's you know what I mean. So like it it was cool to fit in that for his project. Even when you look at his track list, like he needed a song. That I was, felt like that song was bro, such a staple in that album. And that's that what I'm song saying. is that's perfect. What I'm saying. The way I've lived my whole life and my career with this high power shit. When you meet people like Kendrick and see how they work, it's the same shit, bro. There's something mm-hmm. above ourselves and and something else that is guiding that shit yeah and he talks about being a vessel and things like that and that's things i've understood for so long when i try to explain what my stuff is about and and what it's about i don't always know because i i don't even know where it comes from sometimes yeah yeah Yeah. what made you what made you sign to td it was definitely Musa, my manager, Musa's top dog son, firstborn son. Uh-huh. And I'm the he's, first artist. He's still managing you and I'll yeah, he's still managing, day, but like yeah. what made you like like, you know, I'm a sign to them. Like they their family. How do you know? Cause I heard I hear a lot of shit about the music industry, which is like, you know, like they'll do you wrong and all that shit. But what made you like, you know what, like these are family to me? Like waking up on Musa's couch. And his girl is making biscuits and his kid is crawling around and I'm sleeping on his couch. For and weeks. that's family. That's, that's family. Need. Yeah. That's family. Let me ask Coming you. Though. Even them on the inside, a lot of people see TDE from the outside and they don't understand it and they get yeah, these perceptions of, of it. Yeah. But on the inside, they're really just real ass people and family members of that course. built something together. Of course. Out of nowhere. And mm-hmm. it's it's very closed doors and like they keep it in house. That's why yeah. people like to talk. But when you look at Top's track record, he has the biggest artist in the entire world this yeah. year. Uh, in 2018, he Facts. had like 5% of the Facts. entire industry. Fuck. So Facts. let me ask you though, who at TDE do you think you'll make the best collab album with? Mm. It would definitely be SZA. If we ever, we would make the best so? album ever. I'm not gonna lie. What? I think you and Isaiah Rashad will make some nah, nah, Oh nah. man, me and Zay make crazy songs. We have a lot of songs, bro. You guys really? He make a ton of music. He just pulled up to the crib not too long ago, too. Yeah. You, you posted it, right? Session. Yeah. You guys yeah, are like yeah. playing yeah. whatever the hell. I love was. Zay, bro, man. I'm Shout not gonna lie, to though. If you and SZA would make an album, that, that would be, be crazy. Amazing. Sometimes it's hard because we're so similar, too, where like in the artist mind where you be moving so fast and all over the place, like. Uh-huh. If we were to make a song or an album, it would be like do you have a we ran together? into each other this day and we were inspired that day to do it. Yeah. It's, it's hard to be like... Do you have an unreleased track with y'all two just like just doing y'all shit on it? No, I have some songs though that she sent me and I have music that I've sent her, but... Yeah, I just uh, never had that opportunity. The thing is, is like <clears throat> with her and when I go to the studio with her and stuff mm-hmm. like... She's always just been a friend to me, and we've never yeah. really even pressed about music. So I'm just not like awesome person yeah. impressed with it. Yeah. Just on some, like, I, like, family I'm, shit. I'm there and like learning so much from her already, mm-hmm. and I'm thankful to be there. Just on yeah. some family shit, like you just you just support type shit. Yeah, for sure. Like so, she, her whole journey and like her pocket in music and how she found it within TDE mm-hmm. is super inspiring. To and me. I'm pretty sure you witnessed that from mm-hmm. beginning to right now, right? Yeah, because even within and her art direction mm-hmm. and what makes her stand out from TDE, these are still her ideas. Yeah. These aren't someone that's like doing it for, you know what I mean? And that's a uh, another thing about TD, even with Musa, my manager, his mm-hmm. dad never gave him handouts or like, you know what I mean? He had, Musa, that shit. He had to yes. make it happen. That's how it is. And like, when you look at the label from the outside, you could be like, oh, they don't do this for the artist. They don't do yeah. this. For the and from the outside, you could say that, but it's like, if I can't make it at TD, it's not on TD's fault. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. They are like, bro, look. Look at the track record. Yeah. Look at the numbers mm-hmm. and the yeah. stats. It's on me. And, and I feel like for any independent artist, it's about what you put in. And you can never expect anybody else to care or love about your shit more than you. No, exactly. Yeah, no. That's my main thing. Going back to, you know, square one. It's like, you, I feel like, me personally, and I feel like a lot of people feel like this too. You made it out, brother. Like, you... Knowing your situation, knowing you came from this small ass city and where you are now in life, those little accomplishments matter. You feel me? I think I think I think a part of it too is like never in my mind or for once have I ever thought I need to make it out of Bakersfield. Yeah, of course. Yeah. It's like 
It just happened, huh? No, it, it's not even hot, bro. I'm I'm gonna be there next weekend. Am I out of yeah. Bakersfield? Yeah, not no, really. that's yeah. facts. I do this shit for people. I do this shit so they have a place and they can listen to music and know they're not alone mm-hmm. and they can yeah. hear from it. And like I said, this next album, he played it already. This yes. is gonna go crazy. Fire. <laughs> crazy. But like yes, so, so we like, need it. Crazy. So like uh so did you ever have like any other hobbies besides music? Like did you ever do anything else? Like bro, sports I did or anything? So many things at once at all times, oh, bro. But it's like, uh, in hey, high school, if, so check out this is this is me in high school, bro. This is me in high school. Uh uh leading the youth group worship team, going to high school wrestling team. Uh, jazz band and drama department. So I was in plays, yeah. and then I'll come home and post on my YouTube my covers. Like this, if you don't, always... if you don't follow this thing on Instagram, I love fly fishing too. If you don't and follow this thing on Instagram, skate hella. Hey, he might look like you know innocent artist, but that nigga will really beat your fucking ass. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga yeah, will beat, beat your fucking bold. ass. You, can you, you can train, you describe that? You like to, uh, you train on that shit too, Muay Thai, right? Yeah, Muay Thai. Yeah. So you like you really big into that? Is that I like another hobby for you? Martial Other arts, and martial arts in general. My dad is a martial artist, and my uncle, he's a uh, he was in a screamer master, Filipino stick fighting. He's a master. I used to go. Oh, to like, uh, yeah, generation, like martial arts. Yeah, generation. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Generations uh, uh, of uh, yeah. I you love martial arts, bro. It's it because me too is like I like to be active and work out, but I like it's like boring going to the gym and shit. Yeah. So Muay Thai is fun because you have yeah. a partner too, you have to lock have, in. Yeah, exactly. I look for exactly. I'm always looking for ways that can like empty my mind of everything, and that's definitely one. Cause like when you're when you have gloves on and you have someone in front mm-hmm. of you, you can't think about shit else. Exactly. If you do, you're getting punched in the face. Basically, like you're on, you're your own bodyguard type shit too. Yeah, exactly. It's, so it's, like, it's a good reset. Exactly. Martial arts. It's meditation and movement. I, like, well, me, I took I took a couple of boxing classes and niggas made fun of me because like, oh, you take boxing classes? I'm like, nah, nigga. Like, at the end of the day, I'm gonna do this shit for myself too. You feel no, me? they kept asking you why your eyes. So you was went to boxing class. So you went to boxing <laughs> classes and then they're they kept at- see look at and this bullshit like that. <laughs> he went to school every like other that. week this with a black like eye. <laughs> they said, and, you ain't winning. And this you, like that. You feel me? The thing you, is, bro, the only yeah. way to sell it is you got, we moved this table back and you guys both fired right now. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> On a podcast, hey, let's do this. Hey, hey, right let's now. do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Nah, have, but, have you ever had to like get down with somebody? Like, Bro, honestly, the last time I had to really fight and which was barely was like elementary. I don't, I wouldn't actually ever want to fight anybody. You know? really fucking Yeah, up. y'all but hurting. Like, even like, you just like a chill ass dude. Like, yeah, like, I, you know, I don't like, know you why don't anyone would no have a reason yeah. to yeah. fight me. It's bro. all like, love. It's all it's love. Yeah, yeah. But like, honestly, to be honest with y'all, if y'all did know this already, but that's why like, you, you, you just can't go to any and Person, right? Because you don't know what the fuck they know. Yeah. You might go, go to a nigga. He a square-ass nigga, right? He look like a square-ass nigga. That nigga will get you in the headlock real quick. Or, and break your arm. <laughs> and break your arm. Like, you don't... Like, nowadays... Yeah. Your ass out. I and don't like, fight nobody. I'll be telling like, them. I like me, no that's what that, the thing about martial arts though with me, too, is like, I don't ever think about it like, yo, I want to beat someone's ass. Yeah. Oh, of course not. Like, it's just like... It's, 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 if you it's, try it's, me... It's fun. It's tight. Case, if you try me, though... I like fighting. Even growing up with my homies, it's like... Body shots. Like we used to do some shit at my crib. Yeah. Where it was like it was like king of the hill because I did slap boxing. Slap <clears throat> boxing. I had a pool, so on the on the cement part you could stand on it. So like you just run rounds, mm-hmm. body shots, and whoever yep. gets knocked off the thing yep. first. See, but, like, I, it's me, just fighting. It's fun. It's so, my little brother. All his friends are the same shit. My brother has a tat here to to like yep. uh, young kids fighting. Like it's but uh, me. And you had a conversation it's, earlier. It's like there's no point of fighting nowadays because if you say you do beat somebody. Ass. They just never gonna they stop. They they're gonna go to their car. And, they're gonna and go grab gun. their gun and they're gonna exactly. kill you. And like, do you I like, like they did me at like Casa? Not, I, I, feel like, I feel like nowadays it's just like everybody results in shooting. Like, why is that? <laughs> like, why do people gotta. Because they don't want to fight. Weak, Fighting weak. hurt. That's why. Uh, Fighting hurt. Right? Day, you just, like, if you have to use a gun outside of a reason to protect yourself, you're weak. Hey, fight and hurt. Hey. Fight and hurt. Should guy right, so, try to hit me? What? <laughs> so it's kind of like off topic, but like, what was your first big purchase when you got signed? You know, you want me to be completely crib, honest? Getting your own crib or whatever, but like, I know you want me to be completely one. honest? Yeah. I bought a Rolex bust down, uh, VVS, nasty, diamonds all around nasty, the whole shit. Nasty. It lasted about two months where I kept looking at this, bro. And You're just, like, why did I spend this money? Yeah, I was like, bro. How much was it? It was like 20 something K. Mm. You paid it like, 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and I'm like, bro, what actually is this doing for me? You're right like, now? yeah, I got a song with. You're like, damn, ah. I just got this motherfucking <laughs> watch. You know, I could be everywhere with that twenty that, bands. Yeah, bro. yeah, bro. I feel like I feel like that. I was young though too, and that, that's a part of just growing. And, and that's you know, where you go from, because bro, bro. when you think about it, like actually. That shit literally does not matter at all. At all, and that's how it's I feel. But I, like my, my, my materialistic it's, shit. Yeah, like, it's but, an, like, uh, but like, but I feel the, like as an artist, like that's party. Put it on the image, right? Yeah. Well, in general, too, that's something you go through. Like when you don't come from that shit for real. When you first start touching money, you gonna fuck it up. Whether yeah. it's buying something materialistic, a new car. Or strippers, you gonna fuck it up. Just like I said, or strippers. Like, I'm just saying, <laughs> like all that. Shout out the exotic kitty. No, all that. <laughs> yeah. Thanks we for California, that, exotic. Man. All my girls, all that working, stay focused. But like, how do you, you how do you feel like, about like people, like for example, like showing their jewelry off? Like, I feel like that's more of a like childish shit. Bro, honestly, bro, I don't even think about what other people are doing. They're showing their joy. It is what it is. But also, I love... Bro, it's, just, it's also it's just, motivation. It's just, if, gotta, if that's true to themselves, too, and it's different with yeah. hip-hop, too, that's been a thing with hip-hop yeah. and a rapper. Your chain yeah. is what you're but it's rapping. Like, it's different. For me, that's motivation. But, 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 but I wasn't influenced by those people. I was yeah. influenced by someone yeah. like Doc and, that, and Q. And, and that's different from you because you are an artist that makes... Like, you love to make music. Mm-hmm. That's what That's what you do. I feel like other people nowadays want to be rich, want to make money, no, but those are like or the just want to be famous, like really forgetting about the art for real. Exactly, like you put a lot into that's that music ha- that, shit. That's what's been happening over the past few years. I feel like, it's especially in big cities, yeah. further, further yeah. away it, from like actual music. And it's weird, music. it's weird, bro. But I could tell you really care about your shit and you really passionate. Like a lot of the hits too, even like on the radio and and like what goes off is literally a loop, mm-hmm. a hi hat. A mm-hmm. snare, an 808, and a drum. Yep. Yeah. Like, bro, that is so easy to do. And yeah. it's not me roasting. But literally, bro, if you give me my laptop in, in 30 minutes, I could do that. Right, 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 right. But I feel like, yeah, people that like use like rappers or something, like they would get like, you know, the big buzz down chain or the road like the buzz down road legs, but it's like if you give somebody that that money they never had before, they gonna fuck it off just like they gonna yeah. get everything they ever wanted, you know. Like, oh, fuck, it, I'm gonna fuck it off it on depends, this, fuck it off on that. It Girl, well, they don't, so they don't ever really teach like, anything yeah. like that to yeah. us, like financial responsibility exactly. in school yeah. and shit. And they don't yeah. teach you about taxes and what. Because I know if I get a lot of money, I'm gonna do whatever I never, you know, I never fucking. Nah, trust exactly. me. There were yeah. times where I looked at my shit and I don't know where the fuck that shit went. Yeah. And and even living in LA is expensive as fuck, mm-hmm. bro. Yeah. Like the yeah, yeah. if I added up the rent I've paid over the years that I'll never get back for no reason. It's like exactly. Uh, yep. Did I make the right move being out here, or should I just? But you it's know, always that's like, how it's that's how reciprocating. You know, you're always mm-hmm. gonna get that money back because you know that's what that's I'm saying. How it's it another is, thing though. where you just keep working. That's yeah. how it is, though, and that's that's a part of growing as a person, also, because, bro, even all the people before us, they've been through the same stuff. So we just learning as we go on to, and we're gonna get better and better at it. Yeah. You feel me? That's facts. But one question I gotta ask you, though, like, do you think dating has changed since where you are right now as a person, and then back then? Like, do you think your success in life? Has changed your scenarios in dating? I think so for sure, definitely. Yeah, like, yeah. do you think some like honestly, like, have you met somebody that that you notice like the thing is too, for fame when you when you put yourself out there and you're like that, people can look you up and 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 imagine yeah. who you are already yeah. and have an yeah. expectation. Yeah. They feel like they don't. They feel like they know you already yeah. when they don't. Do you feel like so that's that kind of your sucks. everyday life? Though, like somebody like. It's gonna look you up and know who you are. Cause or, I feel like if you look sometimes. yourself up, you you're gonna pop up sometimes. like you're one of them niggas as you you go pop up on Google. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, yeah, that's what and I'm saying. You that's have where whole... it's that's where it's weird in in the in the uh, dating life, especially out here in LA. Uh-huh. I feel like even all the girls and all the people out here in general is just trying to fucking go up. You yeah. know, and not, a, yeah. not only that, they'll have like a preconceived notion about you, yeah, not even yeah. trying to get to know you as so a how do you, like as a genuine person yeah. type shit. So how do you know a girl's really gonna be about you? Like how do you, do you do you even know that? I've always had a good gauge of when somebody's just a real person or not. Yeah. And yeah. I've always been good at just like um keeping to myself or ignoring people. Like mm-hmm. if someone's real, I'm gonna fuck with you. If right. not, then I don't care. And you gotta yeah. keep that distance. Yeah. For real. 
Yeah. yeah, I've I've had a good I've always had a good read on people when I feel like someone's really Gary just go through yeah. like your Instagram DMs and you're like, damn, you bad. <laughs> but I'm not gonna hit you back. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm like, why? I'll never mind. I ain't even that. <laughs> that nigga bricked up over <laughs> the ass. Being signed to a label, like, what do they do for you? Cause I mean you could branch off and do your own thing, start your own label, but what makes you like stop from like doing that and just really being true to TDE, just be like, okay, like they do a lot for me, and what 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 goes into all that? Like, what do what does the label do for you? What does TDE do for you that you I know mean, you appreciate and shit? I mean, first thing we can look around right now, and well, yeah. <laughs> like look around, like nah, those speakers real. in this studio, for and real. this space I have the opportunity to work here. For real, that's all I need. Even like. Musa, when he first started managing me, he put me in a crib where I could just sleep and there was a studio there. Off of love. Yeah, mm-hmm. bro. And I'm saying like, when, when I think as I got older too, you, you realize nobody in this world owes you shit. Right. At all. You have to let go of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So anyone that's helping me and pushing me forward and when I look back, I wouldn't be here without them. So exactly, yeah. You know what I mean? Straight yeah. up, bro. Like, I, this studio is so expensive. My videos, they produce everything. all that shit. That's like, hard. like they put the budget behind you. Yes, too. bro. You know, they, they love coming you. out. They basically, they support you. Yes, they support yeah. what you're doing. Mm-hmm. They support what they I'm believe. doing. And that's the big. Doing. That's that's they the, give me back what I put in. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And that's what you want as mm-hmm. an artist. That's what you want. Yes. Because you're getting that validation. I mean, there's people not only, like, other than yourself that really believe in you. Like, yeah. and really believe that you can do it and that you already doing it. Exactly. So, you, you feel you've me? You've been doing it. <laughs> so, been. it's like, we're just going to keep grinding, put that shit out there, and we're going to blow. Fucking so, all the homies, girls, like, just take it. Exactly. Oh, my God, <laughs> oh my God bro. Y'all hey, like, like, just pull up on the homies and just take their girl and just leave. Like, bro, yep. what? Can we, that's what life's Be- all about, hey, right? Hey, before we so, go, can we yeah, get a little snippets of the of, of this next album that you got coming out? Let's hear it. Can we get, like at least a couple snippets? First of all, yeah, we yeah. appreciate you opening the doors to TD yep. Studios. Of course. We're in here right now. So yeah. we really appreciate you. I'm but, so happy you guys are here, bro. Like the hometown. Gotta... It's my first podcast. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we got there. We got there. Is the arm hurt? But you gotta, you got, you gotta play some shit for us. For the, to for go the, out to, to we go got, out, to go got, out to. Yeah, we got. By the way, by the way, we go, we go, go out there. We go pop a, we go pop a bottle, and we go, we go do it how we supposed to do it. You feel yes, me? Yes, sir. We out here in Los Angeles, California, TDE Studio with Zachary. You feel me? Uh, I'm a, yo, you I'm a, Zachary, so like the emphasis on Zachary. He said nah, he, he I got said to, I got to, I got to, I got to, because people started, started, he said he was going to stay at all podcasts. Exactly. Like, he wasn't Zachary. lying. The thing is about Zachary, Zachary versus nah, Zachary, exactly. Zachary versus Zachary, bro, I really don't give a fuck. He nah, don't, bro. he do hey, Y'all the one that said Zachary, I was just I've been calling you Zachary. I was just, I'll call you Zach. It is spelled that way, though. It is spelled that way. I've been calling you Zachary for the longest time, but since you said Zachary, I'm, 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 he was about to call Zachary, you nigga, Zachary, Zachary Richardson. Get into the money. Get into the money. That's all I do now. Try spending on you though. Gotta keep two phones. They're ringing off the hook now. Get into the money. All through the morning. You still love me. I know you still love me. You still want me. You still want me. If I'm in real life, I don't know when When so wrong that shit still haunts me Why you like me insecure? All this going back and forth All this fighting never know what for All these types of nights I wish that you could see what I And that's it. 
for the Under 5 podcast. You feel me? We have Zakari in the building. Yeah. Hey, you feel me? I was coming out. Yeah. 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 Yeah.